Hello and welcome to another real estate news video. It is the most reliable and honest source of real estate. Javier Vidania here, the, the guy who just shaved his head and looks like a cholo now from high school. I want to talk about the mortgage rates dropping because apparently everybody is freaking out about this and they're saying, whoa, yay, everything's going to be fine now. And um, a lot of times we lead these, read these news articles and then it leads us to other things and other things. And then suddenly you think the market is saved and whatnot. So now let's talk about what is the interest rate right now at late November. We are approximately, um, and I remember guys, when you're looking at interest rates, do not go look at rates from the actual provider. Like if you go to just on the top of my mind, Quicken, you go to Rocket Mortgage, you go to um, whatever XYZ mortgage company to get an idea of the interest rate, there is a chance they might manipulate the numbers a bit to make them seem more favorable. So when it comes to getting good rates, you want to go look at a, a neutral third party. In this case, Optimal Blue, a division by Black Knight. I'll put the link somewhere in the description so you guys can check it out. It should be a place where you get an idea. Um, so right now, according to Optimal Blue, our 30-year conforming um, is 6.585 and our 30-year FHA is 6.5. Why is this so amazing? Well, actually, only only yeah, like two, three weeks ago, we were above seven and people were not happy. Uh, 7.1, 7.2. Get an idea here, like what your FICO score is, whatnot. Like, here's uh, a lot of people tend to be in the 700, 720 range. Those FICO scores still uh, ranking were about the 7.1, 7.2, but that, now they're in the healthy mid, mid sixes. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you may be uh, getting either emails or social media posts or just casual conversations with anybody in the real estate industry right now. Um, just like, hey, the market's recovering, everything's fine. But the reality is, Things are still crazy right now. Things are still very concerning to be quite frank with you. If someone is telling you the market's recovering and things are great, that might not be necessarily the best thing. They're gonna get any hint of good news and try to think, hey, everything's fine and try to build that buyer confidence. And yes, you might hear about little farts of like, hey, demand is getting better. Here's another article on um, by Flavia, Flavia, Flavia um, on Housing Wire. Uh, where they state, according to the Mortgage Bankers, Bank, Mortgage Bankers Association, borrowed demand picked up again this week with a 2.7% increase in the previous week. However, in the same article, according to the FHA or Federal Housing Administration's share of total applications marginally decreased to 13.4 from 13.5 from the week prior and VA total applications fell from 10.5 to 10.6. So they're still dropping. They're still going lower. There's less people applying for a home. I just want to remind everybody once again, the main focus is not news articles, is not YouTube videos. It is your own personal goals. If you're thinking about buying a home, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Are you doing it because mom and dad are telling you to? Or are you doing this because you're gonna have to move out, you're going to live somewhere, and you have a choice to make whether you're going to rent and pay someone else's mortgage with whatever rent they can set and change, or you wanna live somewhere where, yeah, maybe not the best investment anymore, thanks to all these damn ass butt munchers who uh, came and just inflated everything. But, you know, I get to control the monthly payment for the next 30 years. I know it's predictable and uh, it's my home. And a lot of times these news articles, you know, everyone's so busy trying to time the market and look into the sensationalism of whatever your favorite person about the housing has to say that you're forgetting to check in on the most important person, which is you. Always, always, always prioritize your monthly payment and make sure that that number that you have figured out for yourself, that golden number, if you will, of what your budget needs to be at gets met, regardless of what happens to the rate. Now, with the rate going down, of course, this means that it'll be a little easier to accomplish, but I still think it's a really high priority to get as much as off as the per get out get as much off the purchase price as possible. So that way, you know, I would rather get a 7.2 interest rate and get 40k off the price. But then again, now that 6.5 get the 30 40k off the price too then it's even sweeter right so let's say you have a uh, approximately six thousand dollar monthly gross income and about four thousand dollar monthly net and let's assume you have no uh like um what i'm looking for uh debts or anything like that there's three main ideas to focus on there's your super conservative 25 percent of net uh, what I prefer, personally prefer, 33% of your net, basically a third of what you bring every month. And of course, more uh, liberal, 30% uh, of your gross. Um, just general ideas and you wanna be in that range. And whatever number you decide, whatever number you decide to make your golden number, that's the number you prioritize. And if you're looking to get this sheet, I have this and a bunch of other um, home buying resources on my Patreon, that link's in the description. 
go ahead and join and i'm also going to be doing uh, extra videos and live shows just for my patreon members um and thank you to all of you guys of course that are already on subscribed but anyways you figure out what your golden number is and that's it regardless of the interest rate if it goes up get a cheaper house if it goes down yes you can maybe spend a little bit more but maybe stay where you need to on the purchase price therefore you can even try to get lower than that number because it's a range right that really safe to really tight number the lower you are the really safe a number the better i'm curious are you guys gonna actually be looking now that everyone is telling you to buy that you're like are you guys getting hopeful or you guys don't think it's a bunch of poo poo um, i want to thank all my patreon members i'm going in order here joey andy ryan alexander lamb chops jonathan thomas bayard jennifer brian brian chid dozy desiree manuel dakota mina Prathana. Thank you guys all for being Patreon members. I appreciate you. And as long as it's manageable, I will make sure to thank you as well at the end of your video. If you guys want to go join them, my Patreon link's in the description below. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Uh, thank you guys so much. Cholo gang out.